Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the month of September 2018. Uh, this is your financial reading for the month of September 2018. Uh, this month I'm doing a 20% off sale all readings. So you can find out more about that in the link in the description below. Also, if you are looking for your love reading or weekly readings, I have your playlists in links down in the description below as well to make it easier for you to find those things. Sorry about that, Sagittarius. Uh, bad timing with the uh, leaf blower or whatever it is that they're doing outside. But anyway, for your month of September, in the past, we have the, the King of Clubs. This is you, in a lot of ways, showing up in your own reading. And it is a good card to show up as yourself. But uh, for you, I feel like this is talking about authority and maybe having problems with authority figures at work. Or having problems with authority figures in regards to your finances. And or you know, kind of having to deal with like government or taxes or something like that as far as finances are concerned. And this could be you leaving that stuff behind. For a long time, uh, Sagittarius has had messages of improvements and, you know, kind of slow improvements, but definitely has had messages of improvements coming in for you financially and things kind of taking their time but developing at the same time to improve your finances. And I feel like that's what this card is saying, is that you're finally like at this point of improvements. Next, you have for, actually, your first card for the month is the Queen of Diamonds. This is a card of a choice and having a choice to make at work, I feel, for you. I feel like some of you could be staying at work and some of you could be leaving. It's like kind of like you're in this in-between spot where you're like, do I, do I stay at this career? Do I really see it going further? Or do I move on to something new? I feel like for others of you, it's like there could be some sort of gossip or something at work where it's like you're getting details or... People are telling you, like, maybe that they think the company's going to go out of business, or maybe there's something that's bad that's going on, and I feel like you're getting this information this month, and I would say that if that's the case, then I would trust your intuition, I would trust your judgment, this is a card of trusting your own judgment, and it says, like, if you're hearing that, like, you know, there's fraud going on at your company or something along those lines, this card says, get out there, find something new. It's a very good card for money. It does say you will be finding something new if you need to. For the rest of you, again, if you don't have a job, this is a great card for getting new jobs. If you're retired, this is an amazing card for investments and doing like responsible things with your money. So again, if you're retired, this could be you like saving more money. It could be you finding more money as well and then saving it. So I, I think that would be a good idea for all Sagittarius people to do uh, this month. Like if you find extra money or something like that, this can be a card of, you know, being like, you know what? I'm going to put this aside and just save it for a rainy day at this time. Next, you show up again as a jack of clubs, kind of like starting over. Again, for some of you, I do feel like financially, it's like almost like you're starting over. Um, there's some sort of new fresh start here. Um, so that could be the case for a lot of you. Uh, for others, I feel like this is a friend that could be helping you. And I also feel like this is a card of, you know, to me, ultimately, this is a card of trust and trusting a situation. And I feel like you are kind of tr deciding to trust yourself becoming more independent financially and deciding that you are going to do what you want to do with your money. And, you know, that's probably going to be the best thing for you at this time. This is uh, a great card for the future as well. It's a great card for thinking about the future and having better financial plans for the future. So I do feel like a lot of you could be planning your financial future. I do feel like some of you do need to, like, again, save your money is kind of popping into my head. It's not like you're not going to have money. I just feel like it would be a really good idea for you to like kind of watch your finances, save your money, make sure everything is kind of on the up and up financially, and I think that will help you um, in the future as well. I also feel like some of you might have like an opportunity to get ahead on some bills or something, or maybe you can pay something off, and I feel like some of you are like questioning whether or not you're like, should I pay this off or should I take the money and you know go buy something nice? I do feel like it would be a good time for you to decide like maybe if you have extra money to pay off a card or something i do again feel like it would be a really good time for you to do that and i feel like there would be like even more future benefits to doing that at this time this is you know these two cards together queen of diamonds this card they're kind of like cards of financial responsibility they say that if you are financially responsible you will be rewarded uh, in the near future. So that's what I would do there. Next, you have the Eight of Spades. Just work. Um, you know, again, this could be you just putting in a lot of work this month and having to work quite a bit. And so, again, a lot of you could just be working. Some of you might want to work. Um, this is a card that comes up sometimes where 
maybe you decide, you know what, I'm really not that tired, I have a lot of energy, I'm going to get a second job. And maybe you're just doing it to be more financially responsible, to pay off a card or a credit card or something like that. Um, again, this is a great card for doing that. Like if you're thinking about doing those things, this is a great card for doing it. Um, this can also be a card of a vacation. So maybe some of you are spending money on a vacation and taking time to relax. This is like the card of relaxation. And it does say it would be a good time for you to take some time to relax and take some time for yourself. Three of spades at the end here. We're going to clarify this card in just a minute. Um, again, this can be, usually be a card that says be careful of getting sick and injured. Uh, don't do any of those things at work. Don't try not to get sick. Try not to get injured. Um, you know, again, another card of relaxing and making sure you take time for yourself. Um, again, this can be a card of working too much and then getting sick and then you can't work. And then it's like this downward spiral. This card says avoid those types of things. But I do want to clarify that three of spades for you. And uh, you have the jack of spades, which again, uh, same thing, would be a card of needing to watch that. Uh, I even just took the next card, five of spades, another card of watching your health. It definitely would be a good month for you to, t to watch your health. I also feel like looking at this combination here, actually, um, you know, these are not necessarily bad cards when we look at these spades cards. These spades cards in particular that we have you have right here um, are great for taking financial risks in regards to investments you know maybe investing in the stock market or whatever um, so again if you're thinking about doing these things these cards say hey it would be a good time for you to take a risk but they represent research so they say you know if you put in a lot of research and you feel good about an investment some sort of new investment opportunity or something and you take that opportunity it could pay off very very well for you in the future uh, for the rest of you this could represent taking some sort of risk to get a new job, again, which I feel for a lot of you. I do feel a lot of you could be like looking into getting new jobs or moving locations job-wise. Uh, but to me, it looks like a good month. Like I said, I, I feel like it's just a hard work month for you where you're just going to be wanting to work hard, uh, but it looks good. So thank you for watching and enjoy your September.